75 hippo melon plushies exist in the world, and this is the story of how I found myself with two of them. You see, two weeks ago, I tried to get the titanic hippo melons. Ah, check out! Oh my god, 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 I'm, I'm in the line, I'm in the line, I'm in the line. And let's just say... Here, though. It sold out! I failed miserably. I really clicked on it as fast as I possibly could. Scalpers had stolen all the plushies using bots and threw them up on eBay. Half of the entire stock ended up there, and to say these guys were greedy was an understatement. I wanted to see just how greedy these scalpers were, so I tried to offer one of them $1,500 for one single plushie. And thankfully, they rejected. But that still left me without a single hippo melon plushie. My wallet was happy, but I was a sad boy. There was a little bit of a silver lining in knowing that none of my YouTuber friends had gotten them either, and was willing to accept defeat until I saw this on YouTube. That's right, YouTubers were making videos about getting them. Were they indeed lucky enough to fend off the bots and get one for themselves? I had to click on the video to find out, and You're wait. A funny name, but yeah, I wasn't able to get my hands on this thing. It was He wasn't able to get his hands on it, yet he redeemed it? And I'm actually getting this code from Rip Poop right here. Oh, <laughs> he didn't get it, and he got the code from this Rip Poop guy. <laughs> Oh, no, and the guy just let Razorfish redeem it for a video. Dude, that's such a cop-out. <laughs> All right, well, he didn't get it, but then he redeemed it, but then he had to give it away. Did he give it away at the end, or did he keep it? Dead, redeemed. Hmm. Yes, I me. <laughs> and then he's like flexing that he redeemed it, even though it isn't his at the end of the video. And I don't think he actually gave it back. <laughs> he didn't. He didn't give it back. I'm sure he gave it back out of the video, but dude, he's flexing like he owns it. Oh my god. All right. Well, what about the next one? I got number one Titanic Hippo Melon code. Well, that's weird, considering Razorfish said literally the same thing. <laughs> How are you even the first one? I did not get it for myself. On. However, I'm in this either, video. But it literally says I got the number one Titanic Hippo Melon code. Actually told that somebody has gotten it and they okay. might want to give it to me. Oh, now okay. here is the person. Shoot the creeper. Oh, I have five quests and then I'll get you in contact. Oh my god. So then the entire 18 minute video is him doing these five quests. Did he get it at the end? That's what I want to know. Oh, it looks like he's he found him. It's this guy right here. It arrives in three days he said you can claim it as you well can claim it. no way thank you so much but then he didn't get the code he just said he would get it in three days you didn't get the code you got promised the code <laughs> so nobody like legit got it then like all of the youtubers like got it they found somebody who actually did get it and just redeemed it for them i'm so disappointed like i watch these videos and i just get left so disappointed feeling love disappointed i knew i had to do something and decided it was time to really give the people what they wanted to see. A real life hippo melon plushie and the code redeemed to go with it. Doing so, however, meant shining moment fell into my lap. Here's a free YouTube lesson. Make good vids, attract good brands. I had a brand reach out to me last week and wanted to start a four-month partnership. Those videos are coming soon, but as a part of the negotiation, I mentioned how thrilled I would be to get a Titanic Hippo Melon and mentioned how they were impossible to get. They had a meeting and came to an agreement to get me one. Somehow, I, I didn't ask questions. I, I didn't want to know. All I know is... <laughs> This is it. You can see it. Its little face is poking out. Look at it. Look, 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 look. There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got a Titanic Hippo Vela. Do you realize how this expensive these things are? This thing is cost. I could sell this for $4,000 on eBay if I wanted to. Oh, there's a code in here and everything. Oh my gosh. It's funny because this is probably the most expensive thing in my office now besides my computer. Now, here's the other thing about these Titanic Hippo melons. While there may have been 75 sold around the world, only 22 had currently been redeemed in the game. I imagine the others are still waiting to be bought off eBay, but of those 22s, there has only been one that was a rainbow version, and I wanted to give my best chance at getting a more valuable one myself. So, I hatched a plan. Now, you may know Coilus, the big games community manager. One of the perks of being a community manager is having the ability to make a server have insane luck boosts on it. The last time I hatched a Titanic egg in an insane luck server, I got this. Hey, Law, give me something good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 
a shiny titanic blue balloon cat. But I knew Coilus wasn't going to just give me the server boost, so I had to come up with a challenge, one that I know I could win, an Egg Wars. You see, over on the Big Games YouTube channel, Coilus does a lot of Egg War challenges to see if he can hatch better pets than various YouTubers. And well, he loses. All right, here we go. Put it in chat to save time. You ready? In three, two, one. Please, no! Oh! A lot. Most consider me a very lucky YouTuber. And a Dominus Astra from only one egg. This Wait, clip this is what? crazy. Titanic? It's a Titanic! It's a Titanic! No way! No! What the Titanic? No way! No way he just hatched it! No way he just hatched it! Bro. What? Wait, Night Fox? It says thanks for the luck to Jito XD. And if you thought Night Fox was lucky there, just watch this insane egg opening where he got six huge diamond cats. Wow, Night Fox is too up. And so I knew that if I could win the Egg Wars, my prize could be an insane luck boosted server. So I got him in game. But before we get into the Egg Wars, there is something you must know. Um, hi, uh, this is me. This is editing Night Fox. I'm actually editing this video right now. And well, I kind of came across something a little bit unsettling. This whole time that I was sitting here with Coilist actually doing these Egg Wars, uh, I it, it didn't record his audio. Discord decided to update and update the output device. So yeah, you, and I didn't know about it. Like, it doesn't notify you that it just changes the output device and so my obs didn't pick it up and i said i'll try to figure something out i was gonna make it story based but like the reactions are actually really funny so i said i got a better idea i'm just gonna pretend to be you and he said ban staff impersonation so i'm getting banned for this but um you know what for the video <laughs> when you hear coilless voice being like oh my gosh night fox you're the best person in the entire world that's just coilless talking i promise that's what he sounds like in my head i don't know why that's just what it sounds like so that that's coilless's voice okay look, go back to the bit hello hello oh my god night fox hi. hi 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 okay so we're just gonna we're just gonna hop right into it um okay. i'm glad you've showed up today because i've got yeah, a, a little bit of a challenge for you All right. you know you know how you like doing those egg wars and stuff oh yeah they're my favorite we're gonna do that basically but i need to give you uh 10 eggs real quick it's just gonna be a small one okay well, okay that's fine i'm just happy to be here with you <laughs> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten well now that you've uh accepted my 10 eggs that means you've automatically already accepted the challenge without wait, even what? me telling you the stakes so wait, what? that's great man uh, <laughs> i don't know about this so here here's the deal here's the deal 10 eggs we'll do your little uh -huh. thing with the point system blah 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 you're used to that right you're you, you got all yeah, that yeah, down yeah, 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 uh, if you had huge titanic you pretty uh -huh. much automatically win because it's only 10 eggs the uh, the catch is if you lose i i i'm gonna need you to insane love boost this server uh, okay yeah that's fine. What do I get if I win? All my pets that I have. Oh. And you know what? I'll even throw in an extra one of these each. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's do it. We'll, we'll do three at a time. We'll, we'll keep this nice and short and simple and sweet. And then we'll do the last one, the last one together. So there's my three. Okay. There's your- You did eight! Oh! Uh, <laughs> my bad! Can't count! Oh my god! And it's a big- What? What? Oh! What? Oh, oh my god! something backfire so much in my entire life. I so appreciate you letting me borrow your luck. I don't want to do it myself anymore. That sucks. You can just give up now if you want. Oh my god. Come on, man. What kind of insane luck do you have already? There's no way, dude. There's no way. You hatched one eggs. Like one round of eggs. And got two huges. I'm just pretty good like that. Not gonna lie. If I don't get a huge here, it's over. Like there's no way I can win. Oh my god. You still have two left that you can do. Do you want to just give up now or do you want me to hatch them? I'm gonna have to get a Titanic here to win. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I'll click and give you extra luck. Nope. Come on. Dang it, man. Fine. Oh, this means I won. Okay, let's go. All right. Clearly somebody's been practicing. <laughs> I thought, man, this is going to be an easy way to get this because, like, Coilus, as much as he plays these egg wars, he always loses. I'll give you, give you one of these. There you go. Oh, thank you, Night Fox. You're my favorite YouTuber. And because of that, I'm going to give you this. 
Yes! Yes! Okay, okay. I'm, I'm gonna need you to just stand right there. Why don't, why don't you get your uh, Titanic uh, hippo melons out just for a uh, look? Oh, okay. Yeah, why? There we go, man. Look at that. Those are so pretty. I know. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, I'm just doing something real quick. Don't worry about what I'm doing. What okay? are you doing? Just kind of sit there and look pretty. Oh, okay. I can sit here and look pretty for you, Night Fox. Um, don't worry about, Wait, don't worry about that. What is don't this? Worry about that. What is don't this? Don't worry about that. Don't oh worry about it. This is a Titanic? Don't worry about that. Come on. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. What number, is what, it? what number is it? Oh, it's number 23. That's Michael Jordan's number. I'll take that. You know what? Why don't you let it be extra special and let me sign it? All you gotta do is ask. Will you, will you sign my Titanic hippo melon? I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I'm gonna do is just sign it real quick just because you're so amazing. Okay, there, there you go. Oh, wait. There, there's something going on my internet. What? No. <laughs> don't you. No, please. <laughs> no, please. Wait, 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 no. Wait, wait, no. Oh, man. I should have seen that coming. <laughs> right. You know what? That's okay. Because what I didn't tell Coilist. <laughs> all right, now I know you're confused. I've told you how I got one hippo melon, and now all of a sudden I have two. Where did the other one come from? The brand deal it was actually much simpler than that. You see, just how I got the last batch of Titanic plushies, my wife again tried to help me get the Titanic hippo melon. She was in line to check out when everything sold out, and instead of closing out and giving up like the rest of us did, she put her phone down and went to go do other things. What we didn't know at the time was that Preston and Big Games were battling the bots and canceling orders left and right so that legit people in line could get them. 15 minutes went by and all of a sudden, the hippo melons went from being sold out to back in stock again. And since my wife was in line since the beginning, she got to buy one. I think maybe from now on, I should just let her buy everything. She's got some insane luck. And speaking of insane luck, I was still in the insane luck boosted server and I had another egg to hatch. How did it go? I went ahead and put my lucky outfit on. I got all my lucky shoulder pets. I got all the boosts on down here. The server's boosted. Let's do it. Sub to night five. Fox. I promise that. I don't know why that keeps being the code, but it is. It's it's kind of a good idea, though, honestly. Okay, here we go. Click, 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 click. It's growing. It's growing. Bald head. Run my bald head for good luck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes! I got our second one. 75 exists. I've got now number 23 and number 24. So, there you have it. I am now one of the few people in the world that have not one, but two Titanic Hippo Melons. And while they weren't shiny, rainbow, or gold, they were special. Coilus didn't scam me and gave me the pet back signed, and I had Nick join the game and let him have one of the Hippo Melons for a while just for helping me out with videos. It was a pretty nice moment just chilling. That is until... Nick's over here flexing on me with a shiny secret clover unicorn thing that's worth like a hundred quadrillion billion. Well, I got something to show you. Take it, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? Me, Gerald. He's, it's ugly. That's right. He called my dark matter banana ugly. Oh, you didn't know I got a dark matter banana? Oh, yeah. Well, see, here's the thing. I'm starting this whole fruit salad army. And the craziest thing is I got this for free, which is a lot better than the two trillion gems Nick said it was worth. This all happened a few days ago when I was scrolling on Twitter and came across a guy who was quitting PetSimX because of this banana. He reached out to me saying, hey, Night Fox, I wanted to say thank you for everything you've done i lost 30 huges due to a trade i sold my soul for a dark matter banana and now i'm quitting pensamex would like you to have this dark matter banana that broke my love for psx oh my gosh there it is gerald <laughs> His name is Gerald. 1300 exists. Oh, and he got me that sussy number diamonds. What a chad, dude. He said, take good care of Gerald. Just gotta lock it real quick. Confirm it so I can't trade it away. Got it for free. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, now it's insane, Nick. Oh, now you said it was ugly. A dark matter or a two trillion? Ah, oh, dang it, man. I shouldn't have told the guy I was gonna not sell it. Oh, well. I'll be a man of my word. Because nobody <laughs> wants it. I mean, I wanted it. Of course, I wouldn't have paid two trillion for it either. But hey, I know somebody else who might like it. Hey, boys, do you still have that banana? No. Did you get hungry? Uh, <laughs> yeah, the monkey came and ate it. Oh <laughs> man, what was the monkey's name? Uh, I don't. What? <laughs> Where'd you get that? I found this radioactive one. How much did you pay for it? You didn't get it for free, did you? I, I got it for free. Who? <laughs> oh! 
Who did it? Oh, and he also told me to tell you hi. He probably could have given it to you, but like I kind of beat to it. Sorry. Ah! And there you have it. The story of how my insanely rare fruit army started. That's what's been going on with me this week. I can only imagine what will happen in the next. Subscribe now to be a part of the adventure. We're closing in on a full inventory of huge pets. And soon I'm going to need to get rid of a lot of them to make room for the future ones. Just saying subs have the best chance of getting one. Thanks for watching. Everybody's walking